Hello lovely people, welcome back to another book chat. Um, okay, so today I wanted to talk about a, um, a new indie author that I've discovered. So I'm a lurker in a lot of Facebook groups, uh, I'm a member of quite a number of them and I just kind of cruise around and they're reading everyone else's comments and, and never really saying very much, which I know isn't very good of me, um, but by doing so I uh, run across a lot of interesting indie authors and I like to try and, and give them a go as much as possible. Um, so this one, I really, the concept of it really grabbed me uh, because Essentially, it's called Jack Gilmore Wish Lawyer by Ed Ryder. And the idea, it was in a post in one of the groups saying where he said, you know, he's a lawyer specializing in demonic law. And that, I was like, okay, yeah, I've got to try that one. <laughs> and it's a good read. Um, it's a little bit rough around the edges here and there, we're a little bit more proofreading, a little bit more editing could have been good. Um, it's, but overall it was, I really did enjoy it. Um, essentially, Jack Gilmore, you get the idea through the backstory that he was probably a bit of a hotshot lawyer um, previously. It's, it's nice, it's just dropped in. There's, there's not a load of backstory, it's just here and there. Um, but you get the idea there's a hotshot lawyer, something went wrong, we know it involves a demon, um, but now he is stuck in a nasty little office in Las Vegas, in the back streets of Las Vegas, um, pretty much one step up for an ambulance chaser might even actually be an ambulance chaser. Um, he's not an action hero, he's he's a lawyer, he, he just he does what he can. But what he does specialize in is when people when people make bargains with with demons, um, he checks the contracts <laughs> and gets you out of it if he, if he can and otherwise he's kind of has to say no, yes you're actually going to be tortured for this many years. Um, so it was a really interesting concept. Um, the demons themselves, I really like the fact that they weren't like the big scary bad guy demons. Um, there's a lovely line here which is, the evil of the world is already here, it's called humanity. The demons are merely middlemen. Um, and that's, yeah, that's exactly how they portrayed in this. They're, they're doing a business like everyone else. Um, and they're not out to get people, they're just they're giving you what you want, you've just got to pay the price, they're sales, they're sales people. Um, so that was quite cool. Obviously, for the purposes of the story, there are demons which are trying to do more than that. Um, and, but that was really well done. It was, it was, quite, a, it was quite a fun story, really. Uh, lots of little bits of humour that I really liked. Um, there's a great line here as well. I don't think I'd ever seen so much purple in one place. It was everywhere, from the carpets to the ceiling, giving a Giving a, <laughs> giving a dark claustrophobic feeling of being inside an internal organ. Um, so there's some really great lines in there. Um, as I said at the start, it could, could have done with a little bit more fine tuning here and there. Um, it could have done with a bit more, for me personally, reading it as a woman, I'm like, Neh. female characters are a little bit one dimensional here. Um, but it was overall a good read and I did really enjoy it. Um, he has got a second book coming out, I'm not quite sure when. Uh, but there is a second Wish Lawyer book coming out and I will be picking it up because, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I thought it was really fun. The concept was really fun. Uh, the character of Jack was excellent. Um, the side characters definitely weren't as well developed. Um, there wasn't even any particular one sidekick which you, you saw sort of growing as the story went along. But maybe that will happen in future books. Um, as it was, it was a good, fun read. Um, I sort of read it in an afternoon. And, yeah, definitely worth picking up if you see it. So, grab it again, show you, obviously my Kindle's gone off now, uh, here we go, Ed Ryder, Jack Gilmore, Wish Lawyer, cool, okay, so let me know, do you read indie books, what are the particular indie authors that you've discovered and really enjoyed, what other ones do you think that I might enjoy, and leave me some recommendations below, let me know your thoughts if you've read any of Ed Ryder's before, if you've read that particular book, um, and yeah, we'll see you next time.